What's up, YouTube? It's MacBook here. Uh, today I'm gonna call. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about an uh, application which is called Picturesque, which was also in the Mac Heist Bundle Three, which is already over. But you can still buy the uh, app itself. So first off, I want to say I'm a little sick. So if you don't understand me, I'm sorry about that. Um, so first off, I'll just show you their website. Uh, it's made by a company which is called Aqualia. Uh, they've got two products here. Uh, Apple Picturesque has won an Apple Design Award for the best student product in 2007. So here there's a whole website which explain you. The link is in the description. Uh, so you can buy this application for about $35 and which is 27 euros if you live in Europe. And you can upgrade from the older version which is 1.0 for $13 which is about 10 euros. So uh, now I'll just show you uh, the app itself. So when it starts up, you basically get a Dropbox right here. Uh, then you can go to one of your folders and select one single image and just drag it in there. Or you can just select a whole batch here and just drag them all in there. So then this Windows pops up without this in the beginning when you start up. And you've got your picture and I think when you start up the program for the first time, uh, I think it's it looks like this. So um, here I can choose between my different pictures here. So uh, I'll just use the one I have right now. Um, so yeah, here you've got a lot of options. Um, I recommend putting the background as black because I think it just looks nicer when you add a glow and so on. So here you've got a few things you can just. Uh, at, click on the logo uh, or the name. Uh, there is a different if you there is a difference if you click on the image and the logo. Cause I mean, if I click on the, I'm sorry, what did I just say? Some weird stuff. Uh, there is a different if you click on the letters and the logo. So if you click on the logo, there's actually in the options which are gonna pop up, and the letters just enables or disables uh, the feature. So here you can also have a presets which. I'll just show you, I'll talk uh, about that later. So here you can add some perspective, uh, change the rotation, elevation, uh, you can change all that. Add some reflection, basically the length of the reflection uh, offset, which is the space between the picture and the reflection. Um, so yeah, I'll just remove all that. Um, then you can add a shadow, which you can also add a glow here. Uh, the shadow obviously can also uh, only see it with a white background. Um, so here you can see added some shadow, not a lot here. I can add more shadow uh, like this. So then if I go back to the bl black background, uh, I can add a glow. Uh, now it's about white, but you can of course change it to red for example if you prefer that. Uh, change the blur radius and the opacity. Uh, you can also add a curve which curves the corners right here. You can choose which corners you want to curve uh, with a very simple just by checking the checkboxes. Uh, change how, how curvy you want it. I don't know if that word exists but you know what I mean. Uh, so you can choose all that. Then you can choose the stroke around the picture uh, which is basically um, a frame around the picture. Uh, so you can choose inside, centered, outside. Uh, you can ch choose the color of the border right about here. here. Uh, you can choose how big you want the frame and so on. So basically this is, doesn't look that nice but I'll just show you. Uh, once you've got all your options uh, which you like on the image, for example I want to add some perspective and some reflection, uh, less reflection, less offset and so right about this. Uh, you think, yeah, this looks pretty nice. I want for the whole, uh, all the pictures I've selected. You can just go in presets, uh, click the little plus, and just name it however you want. So um, I'll just call it random for now because I'm going to remove it later on. And then when you go on a new picture and you just remove all this, so you go from the start which looks like this, you can just go to another picture and I just click on random and it basically automatically puts everything, all the settings you already made for the other picture and you can also crop the pictures which is in most of this uh, picture software. So it's basically, um, uh, how's it called, um, uh, picture editing 
application but it's not totally like Photoshop I mean it's a little different uh, so yeah here you can for example save uh, batch uh, so that means you save the whole batch with this preset or you can just save the single picture if you save the single picture you've got a choice of PNG JPEG and uh, TIFF or TIFF I don't know how it's pronounced uh, as format so then you can also choose the quality and so on uh, choose the location as always uh, so yeah that's about it uh, that's uh, picturesque I hope I didn't make it too long uh, so thanks for watching please leave comments rate subscribe up there and uh, all the links are in the description um, I'm also holding a giveaway for a demonoid account you can go check my vid for that and the link is also in the description peace